So in this video, we're going to cover if else statements. Um, you can see we have our start motor command, our stop motor command that we've been using in all these videos. Uh, I'm going to come up to my control structures. I'm going to grab an if statement. And the one that I want is an if condition body else body statement. So we can see it's set up here. Uh, I'm going to take my stop motor and I'm going to put it in my uh, top portion. And again, those body uh, are just placeholders for where your code goes. So what we're going to see is my task main bracket open here, bracket closed here, my if statement uh, bracket open, bracket closed for that, my else statement bracket open, bracket closed. Now my condition, meaning what's my if condition for this to happen? Well, what I want to do, <clears throat> excuse me, we're going to come here and we're going to come to special, nope, I lied, sensor, variables, sensor value. So I'm going to go to sensor, variable, sensor value. I'm going to place that inside my if statement. And what it's asking is, what sensor do I want to read a value off of? And I'm going to call it limit one. If my limit one equals one, my limit one is a digital switch, so it runs off a of binary. So when it's open, it reads zero. When it's closed, it reads one. So if my limit one is pressed, meaning equals one, stop the motor, else start the motor. So if this program is ran, the limit isn't being pressed, so the motor is going to start as the program starts. And this will keep running until limit one is pressed. When limit one is pressed, the motor will stop. Now, this is not repeatable. The program ends when limit one ends or hits. So if I would run a while loop like we learned in the previous programs, while one equals one, just keep this condition forever. Again, now my while loop runs here. My task main closes out here and my if statements here and my else statements here. Now what happens in this program is, the motor one starts, will continue to run. If I hit limit one and hold it down, the motor stops. As soon as I release limit one, it now reads zero, so the motor starts up again, and this program will continue to run this way 